I always love coming to this summit. Um, even if I am going to talk about stats, which frankly, when I have to do the work, I feel like running out the door screaming sometimes because I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but the resource stats are, we report out one thing, but the, the resources are changing so much. Like MOOCs, for example, we have Gale courses, um, online learning, community engagement tools, um, these are not easy to measure. These are not measure for use. These are things that we might need to be measuring the impact of. Now, I'm really gonna bug everyone even more because I'm here with more questions than answers, so um, bear with me. But um, I think they're important questions, and they're questions that we should maybe be collaborating on and, and as a collective of, of people who are struggling with these stats, figure out a way to tell a story with them instead of trying to fit all of our stats into what we normally report out to provincial bodies and federal bodies because it's it's not um, like I was thinking of Rebecca Jones did a presentation I don't know if anybody was there about outcomes and statistics and how we measure things and when I think of e-resource stats I think like what stories are we actually telling our stakeholders when we're saying like we had this many logins, we had this many checkouts, we had this many views. I mean, it's all focused on use. Um, and does it show a value? Or is that something that people can really get behind and get excited behind? And I, and I have to say, I'm sure this, you can extrapolate it to all stats, <laughs> probably not just e-resource, but I deal with the e-resource, so that's what I'm focusing on. Um, cost per use. I mean, well, there's so many variable costs associated with the database. There's staff training so that they can promote. There's marketing, that's a cost. There are costs that we do not include in the division of cost per use. And I'm speaking from a library that might not have the best resources in the statistics area, and maybe other libraries do, and if you found a way to figure this out, call me. please yeah. call me. Um, and uh, yeah, so marketing, and an interesting thing that I noted is the cost per use would vary, the variable cost per use would change depending on the database, obviously, because if you get lynda.com, everybody knows what you have. The marketing is really easy because they already know the name. But if you identify a need in the community and then you get a database that matches that need, but nobody knows the name, then the cost per use is a lot higher. You're gonna have to train staff more, you're gonna have to get more people to promote it, and the marketing will just be more expensive. Um, I surveyed a few libraries, or I just asked anybody to contribute, and we all put how we were measuring uh, lynda.com, I think, and Gale, and there were definite differences. So again, then we're, we're, we're measuring things differently, and then we're putting them out the same, but really, what's behind it. Um, yeah. The nature of databases we use are changing again. So maybe we, we need to start thinking about changing how we report the stats and, and, and telling a, get, having some collaboration and, and becoming united behind what our story is and how we want stakeholders to see what we're doing with online resources and maybe discussing ways of measuring impact. So that's all I have to say about stats. Thank you.